Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's the latest news coming in from the camp of Black Stars of Ghana's team and also some Black Stars of Ghana's players. Yes, next game for the Black Stars of Ghana is Ghana versus Central African Republic on the 7th of September at Kumase Barbera Sports Stadium, exactly 4 p.m. And that game, the captain for Central African Republic, the bad news is that he will not play for them. That is the bad news for Central African Republic. But in Ghana, I think it is, in a way, a good news for us. Well, what's happened? Who is he? We will talk about the details in this video. Come out there in Sulemana. The good news is he is also going to feature for Ghana because he is now back at Saddam thing today. At training grounds, he was showing his scores and others. We will talk a little on him. Kudus Mohamed to FC Barcelona. Kudus to FC Barcelona. Kudos to FC Barcelona. It is trending everywhere. What is the details? What is the truth in that particular move? And when can the move happen? I will talk about the details in this video. We will also look at Fatal Isahaku's updates and some others in this video. Before we delve into it, anytime you join us, please, you know this video is packed, but I'll make it very snappy. Like the video for me, drop us a like. It's very necessary. After that, if you are new, you subscribe to the channel. You put us on post notification for more accurate updates on this channel. If you're on Facebook, like, follow us, and share for others to enjoy. If you're on YouTube too, you can also share so that many people will also enjoy this video. Quickly, let's jump into it. I'll give shout out as well. So stick and stay for your shout out in this one. I'll give shout out to all those who commented under the last video. I need to be doing this for you. I appreciate you so much. Now, let's begin from here. Kamal Zin Suleiman is a ringer for Southampton at the English Championship side. And you know, since the championship began, the player is here to feature because he was having a muzzle injury. But the good news is today, the player was spotted at the training ground showing his scores and doing everything. And I just decided that no, I need to share it with you because I've already brought you update that the player was out. And I need to update you if the player is also back at the uh, training ground. So this is good. He's possibly going to be in the Black Stars of Ghana squad to face. Um, that is um, Central African Republic in Kumase. The game that I have tackled uh, that this is a must-win game. Yes, he is going to feature possibly if Coach Chris Shitting invites him in his squad. So, that is the news for you. And let's move on. Now, in that particular game against Central African Republic, the captain for Central African Republic, the name is Geoffrey Kondombia. If you have been following, you know, a lot of club football at Valencia, he was a player for them. Now, he has moved to join Olympique de Marseille in France. And unfortunately, last weekend when they, they were playing against Mounts, the player picked up an injury. That was a knee injury. And after the scan, the player is going to be out for at least six weeks. At least six weeks, which means that the Ghana versus Central African Republic, the captain for Central African Republic, is going to be out of this game. And I think it's a bad news for them. But as Ghanaians, it is a good news for us because football is just like that. Sometimes, if your opponent loses their key man, it will play in your favor. So, in a way, it is good. That the captain for Central African Republic, Geoffrey Condombia, he is out of this game. So that is the latest update, and I have to share for you on this channel. Fatal Isahago, before you talk about Kudu's move to FC Barcelona, he is also a ringer for Sporting CP, but the coach has made it clear, and I brought you updates that, yes, the coach doesn't really want him in the first team, so he has been training with the second team or the under 23 team in Portugal. Now, Crystal Palace wanted to sign him. They first submitted 8 million euros to um, Sporting CP. They said they don't like the 8 million, you know, they want 15 million, nothing more, nothing less for Fatal Isahako. Now, one Spanish club, Real Valacano, currently they play in the Spanish La Liga 2 or League 2, which is which wouldn't be a good news for me personally, but Sporting CP, they want a right back. His name is Frasneda, and they want to sign Frasneda and add Fatal Isahako as part of the deal, so that Fatal Isahako, it will be a swap deal, he will go and play for Real and Frasneda will also move and come and play as Sporting CP. That is the latest one that we have. So, if the player will agree everything then he will go and join league two side in spain and i don't think this would be a good move personally because if crystal palace were not able to reach agreements then going to league two in spain i think would not be a good move but let's wait and see how things will go anyhow the move will go i'll bring it to you on this channel now let's talk about kudos Mohamed to fc barcelona i have read a lot of stuff i have been following you know the bruhaha on social media it is true that kudos to barcelona 
would be on yes it could actually come back to the lane because fc barcelona they express interest in the player if you've been following me on this channel i think i made one video on that concerning fc barcelona tracking kudus Mohamed. they followed him you know they scouted him for over one year as it was revealed now after following him for that long when osman dembele the ringer for fc barcelona decided to join paris saint germain fc barcelona went to ayas to ask of kudus so they went there with a proposal of 40 million euros 40 million euros and um i said that no they will not take it because fc barcelona they were not holding cash or they were not ready to pay now they wanted a player on one year loan move then obligation to buy the next season barcelona we all know if you have been following Barca transfers Barca financially they are not really strong currency so they wanted a player on loan so that next year they will actually pay the amount for kudus muhammad and i have said no they will not take anything like that because around that time in southampton um you know brighton Hope Albion has already submitted a bid and they have agreed you know terms in principle with brighton it was only left to kudus to agree personal terms with brighton for him to join so yes they bounced fc barcelona when usman Dembele was living and they wanted to get kudus they see kudus as a top talent and as a different profile from all the players they have at barcelona so they are saying that if kudus does not move this particular transfer window next window they will come for kudus or the next two if they are financially strong they will go in for mohammed kudus and that is the latest update on kudus to fc barcelona it is true they approached but it is not just now it is about um, you know some weeks they approached to sign kudus but financially, uh, you know, what they were submitting to Ayas, Ayas said no. They will not like to go in uh, or they will not accept the, the, the bid. And that is it. On kudos to Barcelona. Anytime Barca is financially strong, let's expect Barca to come back for Mohamed Kudus in the nearest future. That is the update. It was revealed by Gerard Romero, you know, when it comes to um, transfer news. And if you have been following Barca transfer, he's one man who is very close to those at the, her uh, at the helm of affair of Barcelona. So anytime he speaks, it carries a lot of weight and it was also reported by lots of outlets. So these are some of the latest news on this channel for you. Let me know your thoughts under the comments box. The return of Kamal Din Suleiman. We also spoke about Geoffrey Kondumbia going to be out of Ghana versus Central African Republic and Kudis Mohamed to FC Barcelona and some other latest updates. Let me say shout out to these amazing guys before I take leave of you shout out going out to dj original you commented first under the last video i appreciate you so much i also have life is good lg thank you for being here charles dapa is also here on this channel i appreciate you a n g g you are also here prince aseda is here um ns tamethefio emotion 76 is here black lion is also here desmond ajobu albert free the youth you are here um rufai abdullah okay then i also have um you know fancy zira is also here then i have subuli yes um rufinu subuli you are also here then i have um ding chan wow ding chan you are also on this channel then i have um kumez um kumezro raymond kumezro raymond i've also seen you are doing well mr videos is always here philip kofi hammond you are here i've seen you cast anson is also here obresi dk thank you for being here nana ado um, um nana dako ampim nana dako ampim i've seen you here for koala is also here agbenu imano is here Nikin Victor Lefanam, you are also here. Jerry Dotumo is here. Thomas Afrasekwe is present. JK Kill 2006, you are also present. Emmanuel Amani is also here. Too Loud Earpiece, thank you. Email TV, Captain Rich, and um, Bame Solomon in Trossip, Gosway Eziko, Becky Beck, um, Addis Crowns, thank you for being here. Azuma Obed is here. Emmanuel Tete is here. Yusa BO3DM, you are also here. Moses Abare is here. Swansi J is here. And Kwajo Deus. All these are the comments under the last video. I need to be doing this for you guys. I appreciate you so much. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.